Hello and welcome to Simon Says Artwork. In this video I'm going to be going to a car show local to me. I'm going to be doing a few drawings with a brush pen. This is going to be good practice because I'm going to be trying to familiarise myself with the, um, the tool itself. I've not really used this brush pen very much and it's going to be good because it's going to be classic cars so it should be some nice shapes and uh, I'm going nice and early so hopefully there won't be too many people there so I'll be able to get some drawings done before the crowds arrive but uh, yeah we'll just take a look and see how it turns out Now when you're drawing in public the first thing you want to remember is that you are basically going to be partially invisible to other people, especially at an event like this. So you have to be patient and wait for people to walk past because they're not going to be paying attention to what you're doing. They're going to be looking around at things which they want to go and see. And I didn't have any signs up saying that I was there drawing, you know, so I had no you know, uh, right to a clear view. So you have to be patient. And then I was trying to think about being as quick as possible to get the shapes down that I needed to draw in order to try and have some kind of similarity to this vehicle. And it's a lovely old vehicle, as you can see. And it was a little bit nerve-wracking drawing in public, but... I used to do this quite often and it's only since the pandemic that it's been very rare that I go out. And I think outside is fine, it's more I'm concerned about people walking up to me because when people see you drawing it does make people want to come and talk to you which is really nice but during the pandemic I'm obviously a bit more nervous about doing that. And I try to avoid um, being in close quarters with people. So I start off by getting the shapes of the wheels and then I start with this um, the the kind of you know covers or the it's not a bumper I don't know what you'd call them we don't really have them anymore but the kind of shield the wheel covers which uh, go over the sides and then the license plate or the registration plate as we call it in the UK and this had a little uh, wiper on it which I thought was quite nice and quite uh, quite quaint you know like having a little uh, wiper arm and then this lovely big grill at the front and things like this I I didn't want to get it wrong because it ruins the whole drawing but I knew that if I kept hesitating then it'd take much too long and I'd never get it finished so at some point I had to just commit to certain decisions so in all honesty, I knew that I could do better drawings, but if you always strive to do the best drawing possible, then you'll never end up um, doing a drawing at all. Well, that might not be true, but for me, it certainly is, because it makes me hesitate. And for this drawing, I just needed to commit. Sometimes it's better just to get something done than to really strive to get the best thing that you could possibly do. I do have a great appreciation for design when it comes to drawing things like this because you don't really focus on the whole thing you're more concentrating on the little details here and there and then when it all pieces together you see the, the full thing emerge and making certain decisions like this where the grill is dark, but when I first started drawing, I wondered, am I going to do a line drawing? Am I going to shade bits in? And making those decisions really dictate the finish of the image. That's true for all of the aspects of the car, really. So for these headlamps, when I drew them wrong, I thought, well, the only way that I can really salvage the double circle that I've done already 
is to start to draw the lens inside and that just means to avoid the light and start to draw the shadow areas. I did that with bits of hatching and cross hatching and trying to get a sense of um, the depth inside the lens of the light not lens but of the lights you know the uh, what would you call it I mean I suppose my uh, my vocabulary is failing me here but the lamp I suppose and I'm going to call these bumpers even though they're not bumpers because they are similar to what our bumpers are made like and I really don't know what the word is for these but um, and then another lamp on the other side which because I've done it on one side I do it slightly lighter on the other side not quite as dark and then a little suggestion on the on the opposite side of the, the circle it doesn't need to be much and it is really messy you have to if you're trying a drawing like this you have to really just let go of a lot of your uh, apprehension about how scribbly it looks and how wobbly all the lines are the point is to get used to this brush pen that's all I was trying to do because I haven't really used it ever before it's my first time having one and I thought if you go out and force yourself to draw then you will soon get used to how it works and what you can't do with it what I found that I couldn't do with it is to really hesitate much because the ink does come through quite thick and fast and I say that once you've um, used it you know enough where I've, this is my second drawing of the day so it came out slower but initially it was just flooding out of the pen and it meant that I couldn't really go too slow with the lines because it would just the ink would not puddle but it would bleed into the page. Now I've got the perspective on that window wrong and I didn't realize at the time but as you draw more of the vehicle it starts to become obvious that something's off and that's when I make an adjustment. Now it's not quite exact as what you're seeing on the camera what I'm seeing in person because the vantage point is different so my um, eye line is higher than what the camera is and the camera is uh, seeing some of the lines for the windows is fairly straight because it will be aligned with the top of the window whereas my eye line is higher than what the window is so that's why I have a bit of an angle but it's pretty close what I did was I took out a, um, a quarter inch MDF board that is I mean quarter inch thick but it's quite uh, it's quite long it's not very wide and it comes up to I'd say about my rib cage and then I would attach um, an, a grip for my phone and that has a bit of an extension to it and I had another one to try to steady that because if there's a, a wind and I wanted to make sure that the camera didn't wobble too much and you can see it wobbling a little bit but it would have been much worse if I didn't have a second arm steady in the first and that's what I had my phone attached to filming. And as I'm drawing this, I'm really zoning out everything else that's going on and just concentrating on the shapes. And that's something which I forgot happens. And it's really nice. It's one of my favourite things about drawing in public is how much the process of drawing itself really uh, helps all of the distractions and the environment melt away whilst you focus solely on the task at hand. And I didn't have a, a plan for the finish for the drawing, so it was just trying to pick at it piece by piece. Each part of the car was a pleasure to draw because it was lovely shapes. And it just slotted in together. I didn't get quite as much detail as I'd like to. There's always more that I could fit in, but... I was trying to be as quick as possible. Being that this is a real-time video, it's a fairly quick sketch. 
and you can see how much I'm hesitating here so I know that I could do this faster than what I do in this video but uh, for the fact that I haven't drawn in public or used this pen before I'm quite happy that it's about 19 minutes that it takes me to do this drawing. All of the details inside of the wheels and around the uh, different parts of where there's darker areas and you just don't see you will have never seen if you weren't drawing. Now the way that I had my camera set up was on selfie mode so that's why you can see people looking over and nodding at me is because they've probably seen themselves on the camera and I thought that's probably the best way to film myself and let people know that I am filming so that there's no um, there's no question that they're going to be on the camera if they're there I hope they don't mind. It was a nice nice uh, show. I did have a quick wander around but I wasn't really there for any great social reason. It was more as an exercise in drawing but I did get to talk to a few people which it's been years. It's been absolute years since I've done something like this and spoken to people. I've really taken a retreated approach to life since the pandemic. So events like this were a bit nerve wracking for me and um, just a lot of unknowns. But uh, it was a real privilege to be able to wander through, set up a camera, start drawing and have no one tell me that I couldn't or um, you know, really bother too much about what I was doing. And then to see the vehicles is really nice as well. I try to notice as much as I can. And I always say this, but if you're drawing from imagination a lot, it's nice to make as many observations as you can of things that you appreciate. That's the point where I realise that the angle on the window is slightly wrong, so I correct it there. And I think it looks much better now that I've straightened out the line a little bit. And I do these railings on the top, but I must admit these railings disappear soon after because... It's not too long until I decide to start adding um, shadow to, well not shadow but darker tones to a lot of the vehicle whereas my first drawing was just a line drawing. It's like here when I'm doing these lines for the seats that's when I decide to put in the steering wheel in black because the steering wheel is now the darkest part of the drawing even though I have used um, dark to try and do the grill the steering wheel had the most ink um, used for that part of the drawing so that means that um, basically I can now or I, I must now consider introducing black into other areas Some of these angles are really interesting. I would have never used these angles if I were drawing from imagination. Instead, I think I would have really done a different idea for where things sit in perspective and it would have been wrong. Although what I'm drawing here is probably not as accurate as it could be. It still, it was uh, quite interesting to see where things were. Now this is the point where I decide I need to start adding dark to a lot of the drawing. And it adds a lot. If I hadn't done this I don't think the drawing would look nearly as good. And I think this drawing works out okay. And there's Mike. Mike features on one of the episodes of the podcast and he told me that he was turning up that day and as soon as I saw him we had a quick chat and he had a couple of bits to give me as we are collaborating on an idea and it was nice to see him there. 
once you get a certain way into the drawing it doesn't matter if people are stood in front of the subject because you can always tinker around with certain bits that you've not really tweaked well enough and add bits of detail When he asked how it was going, I remember saying that I was struggling. I think in the end it worked out well, but it did feel like a struggle. It was just constantly trying to keep moving and then correcting lines like that, which are a bit too wobbly. Trying to get certain curves and shapes and then consider where you can afford to put black where it won't overlap other dark areas. Certain dimensions on this car I know that I've got wrong, but I still think it's quite a charming shape and I really like the study. I think it worked out quite a nice little drawing. But at the time I was just seeing all of the faults. And looking at this video I can see lots of different things that I could have done better. But I'm just quite glad that I did it at all. I think the biggest obstacle is getting over the fear of actually setting up and drawing in public. I had initially planned on taking a fold out chair. I think that might have attracted more attention from people. The fact that I was standing up probably helped with making me a bit more um, seem as though I wouldn't be there long and I was trying to be as quick as possible. Now here I'm trying to really be careful with where I add black. Some areas you can afford to put black in and other areas you want to avoid. If you do it too much then it won't be effective. And if you don't do it enough, then it won't look balanced. So it is quite a, a fine line, but you learn that by trying it and failing, or trying and succeeding. Trying to find that happy balance and decide what you do like and what you think works. Now for the uh, registration plate, I immediately thought I'm not going to write in the letters and I just want to darken out that area. Thankfully there's enough leeway with this brush pen where you can only darken things to a certain extent where it's a mid-tone or you can really make it shadow if you continuously uh, cover it with the brush. So you can see there it goes on fairly light and then if you keep pushing it, it darkens up. But I didn't want to actually squeeze the, uh, the tube of the pen because then it would really become uncontrollably dark. And I wanted that um, variation in, uh, in the ink. But I like the idea of putting a bit of shadow underneath the car as well. Otherwise it would just be floating on the page. I do that too often as well, I draw a subject and I don't consider the environment. So it's almost there, just a couple of touches here and there. It was nice to see how accurate you could try to be as well. Just getting smaller detailed lines. There was a certain amount of control you could have with the brush, even though it was quite long bristles. Almost done, just adding a little bit of dark to some of the bumper to try and add a bit of an effect of, uh, of light and shadow. I've gripped the board differently there because I was clasping it with my fingers and I must have been nervous because it was so tight that the tendons in my fingers were in my hand was uh, were aching. And that was it. You can see the security guard in the distance have a look which is quite nice. 
and then this is what it turned out like. Here's a couple of other images that I did. And that was it for the day. Okay, I'm back. That was tricky using this pen. I got three drawings done. It was not easy. Um, it was quite tricky. I got done a motorbike and two cars. That was the first one that I did. That took half an hour. That one took 20 minutes and that one took half an hour. So, Good practice, very tricky, and I'm done. Now it's time to go home. <laughs>